Hey Michelle, it's Regan White and I just wanted to uh, get you a quick video put together here to show you the easy, I say it's the easy, this is the way I copy quizzes. Uh, it's simple and it gets everything and makes sure that there's a good copy available. So let's go ahead and look at Canvas. All right, so here we are inside. Uh, I have a sandbox class here. And so what we're gonna do is we want to copy a quiz and then put it back in this class so that we have two exact duplicates of that quiz. So the first thing, and the easy thing, is to come down to the bottom and we're gonna go to the settings link here in the navigation. We click on settings and then we're gonna export some course content. So the next link is over here on the far side, export course content. And we're going to export a quiz. And you can, if you want to do this with multiple quizzes, you can do this with multiple quizzes. You don't have to do it all at one time. But in this case, I'm just going to do this, uh, this JS Bach quiz here. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to remove it from all quizzes. I'm going to hit create export. And what I'm doing is I'm creating an LTI file. Basically, it's a zip file. Uh, and if you look here, the bottom of this long list of imports, or exports rather, there's a new export. That's what I just created. So if I click on that, it's going to download the, X, uh, the uh, zip file that I just created. And so now that I've got it downloaded, I'm going to turn it right back around and re-import that into my class. So I'll click on the Home button up here in Navigation. And this time I'm going to import existing content. And so select one. I'm going to import a QTI zip file. I'm going to click on choose file. And I know that went to downloads. And it's the top one because it's the most recent one. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to give it a question bank. Uh, so create new question bank. And I'm going to call this test quiz import. Doesn't matter what you call it. But anyway, I'm going to question banks make your life a lot simpler. Had you done question banks, you could have done this a lot with a lot less steps. So anyway, create a new question bank and hit import. And it will take it just a second. It's already running. And as soon as this progress bar completes, it says completed. Now if we go look at quizzes, we should have two copies of that uh, JS bot quiz and we do the bottom one is probably going to be the newer one so uh, you can pick whichever one you want to assign to your students and then go to the other one and you'll edit it so you'll click on edit and you can delete half the questions uh, you just go in here and hit the little X and delete that question delete that question however many you want to delete and then go to details and you'll assign this one to uh, get rid of everyone and assign it just to the people that are in the class that need to take this quiz and that way you'll have two uh, and then once, of course once you're done you have to save it but that way you will have two uh, exact duplicates only one of them will only have half as many questions. Also, because you created a question bank, you will have the questions again so that when you get ready to uh, give them the other half of the quiz, you can go back into the question bank and pull those questions out of there, and it'll be a lot simpler to create the other half of this quiz. Uh, so I hope that helps. I hope that was understandable. If you have any questions, please uh, send me an email or... or, or uh, send me a, a shout um, and I will do my very best to help you with that otherwise that's probably the easiest way and then once again let me encourage you if at all possible to use question banks for your quizzes it makes your life a lot simpler uh, hope you have a good day and if I can help please let me know